While the racism and social justice causes have been front and center for many athletes and leagues lately, the WNBA has been fighting those battles for a long time, and its players made particularly impactful statements during their 2020 season. One former player, Monica Wright Rogers, joins us now on BNC. She's currently an assistant coach at the University of Virginia. Monica, thanks so much for joining us. Now, you were a player in the league for seven seasons in the last decade, still have ties to it. Women in college basketball have been impactful as well. How proud are you of these young women using their platform for change? I'm not surprised, Anthony, and I'm very proud of my counterparts for their actions this past season and seasons before. Um, they've always taken ownership of their league. Um, they uh, negotiated for a new CBA a couple years ago and beautifully campaigned for Senator Warnock and demanded justice for Brianna Taylor. I'm not surprised at all to see my WNBA sisters take a stand. All right, so you mentioned Reverend uh, Raphael Warnock in the summer when then U.S. Senator Kelly Loeffler made disparaging remarks about the Black Lives Matter movement. A movement began in the WNBA where players responded by endorsing her opponent in Georgia, Reverend Warnock, and others demanded she be removed as an owner of the Atlanta Dream. Warnock defeated her and she's no longer an owner. So for you, is there any doubt that the players were largely responsible for both changes? No doubt in my mind at all. Um, I think it's just saddened to see um, such misrepresentation in the former ownership of the Atlanta Dream, but I am very excited about the future ownership and very proud again of um, Renee Montgomery and her, um, uh, her group of um, investors and what they've invested into that community. All right, so speaking of Renee Montgomery, late last week, the WNBA announced the sale of the Atlanta Dream. Renee made history as the first former WNBA player to become an owner and executive of a team as she is part of the group of investors. She was a peer of yours. So what do you think and what message does it send that players can have such lofty goals as those beyond the basketball court? Um, I did not play with Renee. Um, we were actually traded for each other. Mm -hmm. um, so we just mm -hmm. missed each other, but um, uh, again, played against her for several years. And I think it speaks volumes. Uh, Renee is definitely someone who did a great job of transitioning um, from her playing career to her um, professional career. And so I think a lot of current players need to take that blueprint um, and definitely look at her and what she's done with her career in media and now ownership. All right, so you are a brand new mother. Congratulations to you, the proud mother of a seven month old son. Uh, your school, the University of Virginia canceled its season after only five games due to health and safety concerns, but uh, you are still working. That's the life of a coach. So uh, this question is pertinent. How do you balance the duties of motherhood with coaching, especially when you have an infant to take care of? That is something I'm still working on, still learning. Uh, I seek advice from all mothers that have been through it, but for the most part, it's about really staying organized um, and taking advantage of um, time. What's his name, by the way? His name is Mikhail, M-C-K-A-L-E, LaRue Rogers. Okay, and, and you told me uh, before our segment that uh, he is upstairs and apparently he promised not to interrupt this interview. Though it would be okay, we would understand. Yes. Okay. All right, <laughs> Coach Monica, last question for you. Um, we, we've had one of your fellow Wahoo legends, Don Staley, on before. And so our viewers understand Monica is the University of Virginia's all-time leading scorer, over 2,500 points. Don Staley, the Hall of Famer, is second. I have to ask you this, though, Monica. You followed Don in Charlottesville. Did you ever try to pull off this? So pay attention to your screen. Uh, the hair. I know that that's as legendary <laughs> as her game. Uh, did you ever try to emulate these epic 90s hairstyles? I do not have the bone structure that Dawn has, <laughs> so there's no way I would be able to pull that off, but she sure worked it. <laughs> yes, she did. By the way, I did ask her about it, and, and she says that at this point in her life, she can't pull it off either. She just turned uh, 50 last year, so um, she, she was not willing to be able to uh, admit to being able to pull it off anymore, but... They were legendary. I mean, let's let's face it. So I just I had to ask you that. one. <laughs> yes, the salt and pepper hairdo will in my <laughs> eyes it will never go away. <laughs> yeah, and the bamboo earrings, right? <laughs> right. <laughs> All right, Monica Wright Rogers, assistant coach on Tina Thompson staff at the University of Virginia. Thanks so much for joining us on BNC. We appreciate your time. Thanks for having me, Anthony.
All right, BNC Live continues after a short break.